Hello, and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today, we're looking at the Assault Tank Commander from Rogue One, a Star Wars story by Hot Toys. We're gonna lift the lid of the classic shoebox design, and underneath, we have a wonderful photograph of that figure in action. We remove that, and underneath is gonna be the single tray featuring our figure and accessories. Let's take this out of here and show it off. The tray is going to have the Tank Commander figure, four additional hands, your wrist pegs, the E-11 blaster. Underneath is the Rogue One inspired display base. Let's take all the pieces out of the tray. Here we have our figure, weapon holding hands, fists, the E-11 blaster. Over to the display stand, it's the classic design with an overlay featuring the character as well as the wedge that slides right in front and continues that Rogue One design of the base. Let's highlight a few of the incredible design elements on the figure. First up, this helmet has always been a really neat one for me, where you're going to have kind of the intake and aerator, going to be that kind of thin pressed design, and it has the visor. The whole look of this helmet is very, very unique and a really cool design. They've done great weathering. You're going to see the nicks, the dirt, and the grime all the way. And the helmet, when we spin it around to the side, you're going to get a great profile of that unique design. Insignia is there. Then when you turn it to the back, you really see that it kind of has a reminiscent look of the Vader helmet where it fans out uh, down onto the bottom. Working our way back onto the front of the figure, that battle damage is all the way into the chest armor, the belt, and everywhere else. We get a little hint of color with the red here. And you're going to have the black here, very, very dark gray, Again, the black. So it's all going to be in that dark tones all the way through. But again, the battle damage on there really pops on a color this bright. We work our way around. We have that scooped design to the backpack, as well as having the classic detonator on the back of the belt. We're seeing that wonderful weathering all the way down, particularly here on the shoulder pauldron and down into the forearm armament. The pants underneath are going to be a fabric design, and this is going to make sure that we have a lot of ways to pose and move the figure around without armor getting into the way. Down here onto the boots, we have that Stormtrooper design where the right and left do differ. A lot of wear and tear, particularly in the shin guards here. See that they kind of clip and attach in their design. And then down here onto the boot, not only is there the dirt, but the fabric that would be onto the side, which has been molded and painted, as well as the little insignia right down there on the heel. Articulation of the head is the classic ball joint. We have a full range of motion. We also have the articulation there in the neck for a forward and back. Down here onto the shoulder, the pauldrons are attached with a bit of elastic underneath, and you can see those right there. That means you can lift those up a little out of the way when you're reaching them to the side. The arm will go out to almost a straight angle, and you can see underneath that great mesh design that's done in the figure. Here on the bicep, you are able to swivel the bicep. This armor is not glued on there, so you can also move that out of the way when you're doing your articulation points. Straight in front and almost straight back. Moving that armament out of the way gives you a little bit more. The elbow, double jointed, and then the classic wrist peg for there on the hand. Now the chest, because it is armored, most of the articulation as far as turning side to side and pivoting is all gonna happen down here at the waist, but we do have a range of motion there to turn it and swivel. Down here in the hips, because we don't have any armor over it, we get a little bit more range. We are able to kick the leg almost fully out to the side. Straight, just about 90 here. Then we go back a few degrees as well. The knee is going to be a double joint. This armor, like what we have on the arm, is not glued in place. So you'll be able to adjust and close the gaps as I did right there with the foot whenever you're doing your posing. The joint right here on the foot 
is going to be the traditional roller ball. So I get a lot of range of motion right there on that. Time to put him in a few poses. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Assault Tank Commander from Rogue One, a Star Wars story by Hot Toys. For more information about this figure, follow the link below. Be sure to tune in to Unsealed and Revealed, where we have more fun with this figure. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show. Be sure to subscribe by hitting the S icon on your screen and click the bell icon to be notified whenever a new video is posted. If you'd like more info on the items featured in this video, click the link provided under product info. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.